So oh, I can even see you recording. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Brendan. It's Deb here. Hey. Um, hey. So this is Brendan Hoffman for, for the people that are watching. And as much as we'd love to do a live Zoom conference, he's currently in the Ukraine and it'll be sometime around three o'clock in the morning. So we're going to cover a couple of things to answer what we think may be possible questions. Let's start with, hey, Brendan, what do you want to do when you come out for the residency? Well, I have two main goals for coming. One is to work in partnership with the Daily Freeman Journal, um, essentially functioning like a, like a staff photographer for them. Um, I see that as a great thing for the newspaper, um, you know, sprucing up the, the visual quality of the newspaper. Uh, I hope that that in turn uh, builds more trust in the paper, gets more people reading it, and can long-term sort of uh, build the financial stability for the paper, because I'm a news photographer by profession and training. I think that newspapers play a really important role for communities and if I can help make the newspaper in Webster City that much stronger, then I'm really excited to be part of that. Now we've, we've been working with the ISU Extension Office here locally and they're very interested in workshops, particularly workshops with adult and continuing education kind of thing. Um, talk to us about your availability for workshops, working, who would you like to work with, not just Extension, but who else, and what kind of things might you be instructing on? Well, uh, I'm, I'm really open to working with absolutely anyone in the, in the community who's interested in learning about photography, learning about how pictures can be used to tell stories, um, stories about their own lives, about their community, the people around them. Um, I see this as sort of a new chapter in the project that I've been doing. You know, I'm, I've been uh, visiting Webster City for a number of years and sort of using photography to talk about my experiences, but I'm really eager to add a new layer to that and um, sort of give people the tools to tell their own stories about Webster City. So I'm, I'm excited to work with kids in schools. I'm, I'm happy to work with, you know, seniors, anyone who uh, wants to just learn how to use their camera or wants to tell stories, um, any community at all, really, in Webster City or Hamilton County. And as we get closer to the summer months, uh, we'll work on that. We'll help create workshops. You and I will work on some stuff and, and anyone else who's interested, for sure. So the biggest question that I hear, um, uh, I'll just put it out there. Um, so you took fabulous photos when you were here in 11, 12, and 13. However, they were um, not of the brightest side of our community. Um, so can we trust you? Do we dare yeah, well, bring you? Yeah, well, I mean, again, it's, I'm, an, I'm a news photographer by training. Um, the principles of journalism are, are really important to me, and that means approaching every situation as, you know, open and unbiased as I possibly can. So. You know, in the in the period of time when I did the bulk of the work that I've done, it was in the immediate aftermath of the Electrolux plant closing. Um, there was a you know there was a, a vibe in the atmosphere that that I was responding to at that time. I think there were some some really important questions that have um, taken on a larger significance nationally now. So that was something that I was looking at, in, you know, even before it maybe became what we what we think about it now. At the same time. That's the work that I've already done. There's no need for me at this point to repeat myself. Um, and that's why I'm taking this completely different approach um, to working you know, with, in partnership with uh, uh, the newspaper, with 4-H, the extension office, with uh, anyone else around who wants to be involved to find different ways to tell stories in Webster City and tell you know, stories that at this point I've either not had access to or uh, haven't had a chance to explore as fully as I would like. Perfect. So I'm going to wrap it up here. I want to thank you for your time today. I will mention that if the Hotel Motel Tax Board has any questions, they can email you before their next meeting to decide what they're going to do, correct? I would be happy to answer any questions, yeah. I will give them your, your contact information. Brendan, as always, I look forward to working with you and thank you for your time today. So I'll Thanks, stop recording Deb. now.